I think these are not questions that have a scientific answer. Um, you could define life not just at conception, but before conception. With the possibility of human cloning from somatic cells, there will be a time when they can take a cell from your skin and in a laboratory turn that into a human being through natural evolution. Are we going to say that people who comb their hair or brush their teeth are engaged in homicide? Presumably not. And at the opposite extreme, there are bioethicists like Peter Singer at Princeton who say that life doesn't begin until you can form meaningful memories and you're sentient, uh, maybe at six months or eight months, and that birth is a useful tool for making a divide, but not a meaningful ethical one. So I think the key question you want to ask about personhood is not just where along that line you define life as beginning, but why you're interfering or intervening at all. Because there may be some people who sincerely believe that life begins at a certain point, but there are others who, if you actually push them, are more concerned about the sexual revolution and the social impact of reproductive freedom more broadly, and this is the tool they get to actually achieve a different social end.